hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to learn how to fold a hexagon and how to fold a triangular grid on a hexagon so before proceeding forward make sure to like and subscribe and yes let's begin so for this i'm using a rectangular sheet of paper this one's a4 size the dimensions is 21 centimeter so if you use with 21 centimeter paper you you're gonna get a hexagon a regular hexagon of side 12 centimeter and which is good for a 16 division grade but if you want a 32 division grade make sure to use a paper of width 46 centimeters and corresponding height and you will get a hexagon of 24 centimeters which will be good for a 32 division grid because if you use paper which is smaller than that for a 32 division grid the grid lines will be very small and it will be difficult to fold so yes let's begin folding so you're gonna first divide the paper in half and one fourth like this and then you want to use this point as a reference point um, this point and fold the paper such that this vertex touches this line like this and the other end should stop over here and you want to do the same over here all right and then you want to touch this line with this line which is like this and to make sure that you fold it correctly make sure that this vertex aligns with the central line like this so these are two checkpoints repeat the same over here And now we've got these two lines and just flip the paper over and touch this edge to this line like this and be as precise as possible to get your hexagon neat and you don't want to make an irregular hexagon like this so all this is paper you need to cut off and yes that's it this is our hexagon guys so here we have a hexagon and i used a cutter to cut it and i would suggest the same thing to you too and you can see there are existing lines on it which is three straight lines and two diagonals so this is you have divided the hexagon into one two three four parts and you want to do this on all sides so take the edge of the paper to the center from all sides so you'll get a four division triangular grid on a hexagon like this and now when you divide one fourth in half so you'll get one eighth so if you do like this this is one eighth and like this so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show it to you once more like this, like this, like this. Alright, so you want to do this on all sides. So this is one, two, three, four, and four more will come here. So this is one eighth. And if you divide one eighth in into halves, so you'll get one sixteenth, which is like this. All right, so once you do this on all sides, you'll get a 16 division triangular grid on a hexagon. And if you divide this into halves more, one more time, you'll get 32 and then 64 and 128. The maximum grid that I've used is a 64 grid. And yes, so that's about it guys. And I would I would like I would want to give you a tip that while making a grid while making grid while making a grid make sure that all lines are of the same orientation all that should all lines should either be mountains or valleys because that really you know the excess grid lines ha should have some uniformity because you don't want that messy look when when your model is done so I highly suggest that make everything as mountain or valley so yes, that's it guys. I hope you understood the video and 
if you have any doubts feel free to comment and also check out my instagram page i'll put the link in the description below and thanks a lot for watching bye bye